your balance is off. Um, you could be unconscious. You could be um, disoriented um, to tremors, to seizures, to um, basically everything, nausea, vomiting. These are the consequences of a new drug trend called wasping. That's when wasp killers mixed with other drugs like marijuana and meth. Valley News Team's Veronica Marshall looks into why the dangerous trend is spreading and what it can do to your body. They're almost like chemists themselves. They're trying to mix and match to try to find the next high. There's a new way to get high, but it will cost you. They don't know the long-term effects, but if you actually look at the science of it, it's something made to kill something. So a long use of it, there's got to be some long-term effects. But those consequences don't matter to everyone. We don't think about tomorrow when we are using drugs and alcohol because we don't want to think. We want to numb out the pain. The drug trend called wasping is making its way through the country. That's when users mix wasp killer with other drugs to get a stronger high. Why would you want to ingest something that's going to kill you? <laughs> you know, it's, it's made to kill. Why would you purposely ingest something like that? But drug counselors say users have their reasons. It has to do with trying to combat tolerance. When the drink starts to wear off, I mean, what do we normally turn to? Um, either drinking more or using more or mixing more than one to get a different or more desirable effect. And that's not the only reason why combining wasp killer with other drugs is spreading. For one, it's cheap. You can get a more intense high for less than $6. Wasp killer can also be found almost anywhere. Anyone can buy it and it won't get you in trouble with the law. Typically, most things you're looking at that they're lacing it with are everyday stuff off the shelf. So um, that's not illegal to possess. Now, first responders are hoping this fad fades before it's too late. There is no antidote. There is no treatment really for um, the insecticides. In Fargo, Veronica Marshall, Valley News Live. First responders say when they find patients who are overdosing with illegal drugs cut with other unknown chemicals, they don't have a lot of treatment options. The best thing they can do is to help the patient breathe and hope the patient's body breaks down the drugs and the chemicals.